I can't get out. <laughs> Are you stuck? I can't get out. Okay, stuck. so this is like mining. Oh, don't know how far back this goes. So the more important people were buried here. So there we go. The death hole, everybody. You definitely missed that. Some place none of us would want to end up. Yana has just locked me Goodbye. in prison and she's doing a runner. She's locked me in prison and she's doing a runner. She's left me here all on my own. Let me out. Let me out. That's it. I'm going to get my own back on her. Put her back in another cage, I reckon. The ducking stool. Okay, Yana, you're on the ducking stool now. Can you go in there? Can you go in there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll have a little look in the house in a second, darling. What are you doing? Well, there's a ducking stool. Can you see that duck? Can you see that seat over there? Yeah. That's what they used to put witches on. So they believed you were a witch. They used to sit you on there, duck you in, and if you drowned and floated to the top, you were innocent. If you survived, you were a witch. And then they used to execute you. So you're dead anyway, whatever you're going to do. Now, just over there, just past the ducking store, you can see that brick wall. That's actually part of the original remains of this Moton Bailey Castle. Sadly, a lot of it lost, but it's nice that they, there's still sections that remain. And Yana is heading into here. This is like what they would arrest you in as they were taking you to I don't know if I'll get oh that is really really tight oh my god don't even know if I can get oh oh my god <laughs> oh you gotta try and get out <laughs> stand up I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna try and get out no we're, we're in prison yeah move oh god move. oh bloody hell this is really heavy look look there's a cannibal that is that is heavy we're not cannibal it's a um Ball and chain. I'm stuck. You're stuck. I can't, I can't get out. <laughs> Are you stuck? I can't get out. Oh, well, I've got to get out. But, oh my god. Let me film you. Let me film you. Yeah, got him. I want to see this on camera. <clears throat> Try and squeeze. Oh. <laughs> Good day to you. How are you? I'm the brewer, and I make all the wine for the Baron and his family, as you can see me doing here today. The rest of us in the castle, the peasants, we have to drink mead and beer made out of barley, which sometimes make us very drunk, but it also makes us happy. <gasps> It's a pottery kiln just over there. And there certainly would have been an original pottery kiln on this site. And maybe it was, maybe through archaeological study, maybe it was actually there originally. Try and pick a peacock? Yeah, of course, yeah, that'd be cool. And I'll photograph you as well. Careful putting that. An ancient well. Uh, I'm pretty sure this would have been a lot deeper many years ago. No, you're not at all.
Yeah, go on then. No! He'll follow you. That's all right, he'll follow you. He's trying to eat the whole bag. Yeah. He went for the bag. <laughs> <laughs> they will bite the bag, you know. I think it is. Okay, so this is like mining. Oh, I don't know how far back this goes. Oh, it's really tight. Oh, it kind of stops just down there. I won't go all the way down because this mine is quite tight. Oh, I need to walk, oh, I need to walk backwards. Sorry, darling. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm nearly there. Okay. Nearly there. Oh. <laughs> that was tight, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, so it says here. Yes says a mine was the most dreaded threat to a castle. Enemy miners were employed to tunnel under the castle walls and when the tunnel was considered to be directly underneath its objective above ground. The tunnel was enlarged into a square chamber held up on roof supports and filled up with brushwood and animal fat. It was then torched and the destruction of the roof supports by the fire resulting in both the collapse of the underground tunnel and the target buildings above the ground you already got so its way. aim would have taken down that tower and that wall and the island's going to head in there ourselves you want me to go all the way? Egon, you want to take the, you want to take the camera? I'm taking the camera in okay do you want to go all the way in? yeah go on in and the island's going to go all the way in put the torch on and all the way down she's got a torch on Nope, I touched a cobweb. You're not going to do it, no? I touched a cobweb. We're going to have a little look at this medieval graveyard here. It says the graveyard you can see here before you has been purposely located outside of the palisade walls of the castle and its grounds. During the Dark Ages, only the nobles and their families had the privilege to be buried within the castle grounds itself, meaning the poor peasants and criminals were delegated to the in interred at or interred in locations such as this in the far less important positions outside of the palisade walls Should we have a little look inside? Yeah. Go first, okay. Welcome to my home where my family live. We know from the Doomsday Book that there were 11 resident families living within the castle walls. And there would have been about 20 people to each family, the same size as mine. We all live curled up and sleep round the fire with our animals to keep warm. The only privacy would be behind the hazel screen you see here. In cold weather, we bring hides down over the windows to keep the drafts out. We only bath about once a month, and only in the summer months at that, in the type of wooden bath you see here. In the winter, we don't bath at all, and we cover ourselves in goose fat to keep warm. Looks like we've got the blacksmith just here. Yeah, and the yeah, yeah. I tried to the thumbnail. Yeah, is it quite heavy? That's chain mail, but that's very heavy. The castle community. He made all the ironwork for the castle. The horseshoes, the armour and the arrowheads. If you find the blacksmith, you will see the tumbling graph of Rabbit Hill. Where the Normans kept rabbits from here. 
Yeah, it's a chain. Are you going to try and lift that one up, Yana? Let's see if you can lift it. <laughs> it's heavy, isn't it? Try this, Dave. You try that. Don't well, you, know, you can't take it off. Should we take a walk up here? Yeah. You ready, darling? Yeah. Up we go. It's a really nice view, isn't it? So earlier in this video, I showed you the actual cemetery from the outside, and so this would be the cemetery from the inside, the actual castle. So the more important people were buried here, or would have been buried here, and some stone ones over here. So I'm going to take a walk over here and see what we've got. Let's see if there's any interesting names. Ah, oh, there's no name. I was hoping they might have included a few names on there. Yana's going back up to the stocks there. castle walls and I'm just gonna have a wander up here and have a little look. Oh the surgeon's house, remains of the original surgeon's house. I was originally a barber. That was my skill with a knife. Being able to sever a limb in under a minute, I became a surgeon. Most of my patients died on usually of shock or infection, such as gangrene. Just here we've got medieval rabbit warren and they used to, it was the Normans that actually brought rabbits here to the UK. Hares are the native species and rabbits came across from Europe and the Normans brought them here for their food and fur and they used to keep the rabbits actually in little enclosures like this, not too far away from here actually in Hatfield Forest there is actually a very old medieval rabbit warren and hopefully we'll visit that site in a later video so we've got some medieval woodworking here so this is the castle's carpenter that's what they use to you know shape the wood and everything it would have been a long old process yeah The hell hole, it's another prison. Mm. Oh, that's ghastly, isn't it? Don't drop that. it. No, look at that, everybody. This is probably the worst place you would want to end up in this castle. The death pit. The death hole. Prisoners and captive soldiers were often placed alive in holes like this and simply left to die. The hole would be infested with rats, flies and other vermin, and the stench from the rotting flesh would overwhelm the village and often reach far past the palisade walls. A very effective medieval deterrent. So there we go. Death hole, everybody. You definitely missed that. Some place none of us would want to end up. So this site, everybody, has actually been used for a good 3,000 years. It was actually Iron Age 
originally and the Romans even used it and then Robert Gurnan took, overtook the site during the conquest of England by William the Conqueror in 1066 and there is a lot of worked flint as you walk around as well I've noticed that remnants of Iron Age Britain like that that's just a piece of debitage but quite interesting okay so Yana and I are now heading into the very centre of this site and the grand house and you can actually see hey darling see these bricks these bricks just just there that's the remains of the old castle yeah it says remains of the 12th century towers most towers had combined functions of flanking the walls and acting as keeps guard towers please note the floor level today is almost one meter below its original level the towers were faced with stone blocks transported all the way from Caen in France that's incredible so a lot of this stone came from France and these are the original walls Bye. Mount Pitcher Castle and we're in the inner bailey now everybody and we yeah yeah I'm definitely coming up are we gonna head up just up there and you can see coat of arms of the Gurnan family just there yeah wow but that's quite heavy isn't it you can lift it out yeah it doesn't come all the way out. But yeah, you can see how heavy that is, can't you? And it says that sword was used for executions. And we've got even an executioner's axe just there. Is it sharp? Yeah. Is that a real one? Well, oh, I, I, I think it's a reproduction. Down there, everybody, you can actually see. So we're peeking out the tower here, just so I can show you and you can see the earthworks flanking around this inner bailey The main, I would imagine, the main grand hall, the main manor, manor house. You have just walked back in time to the 11th century. I am Baron Mountfidget, and I own the castle and live here with my family, servants, and guards. Yeah. The rest of the castle community lives in the outer bailey. My father, the Duke of Boulogne, conquered Stansted in 1066 and built his modern bailey castle here. He was awarded large areas of land in Essex, Norfolk and Suffolk as his reward for loyalty and valour to William the Conqueror in his invasion of England and defeating King Harold. One of my descendants, Richard E. Mount Pitchett II, is destined to become famous as one of the 25 barons 
responsible for forcing King John to observe the Magna Carta at Runnymede, which laid the foundations for democracy in this kingdom. You see hanging up the flower of a ball and chain, which the priest used when he went into battle. He was not allowed to use the sword, but use the ball and chain. bedroom. Now just in here everybody is actually back in time where the 11th century. they captured a photograph of a ghost. The rest of the castle community lives in the outer bay. We've got medieval herb garden. Is that open? Oh, that's pretty cool. It says the earliest record of a herb garden in England is the Anglo Saxon monastic garden at Ely, which existed from the 7th century. The plants grown in the castle gardens basically fell into one of five categories culinary, medicinal, dyeing, and household use, vegetables and fruit. Plants cultivated in the summer months had to be harvested and stored for the winter. Although grain and vegetables were grown in the castle or village fields, the lady of the house had a direct role in the growth and harvest of household herbs. And it's no surprise actually there's some stinger nettles in here because they would have certainly been in a medieval garden because you can use that for nettle soup and even for medicine purposes. Look, it's, it's a herb garden yarn, are you going to come and join me? Ah. Oh, yeah. And there's the gardener. You take me up that thing. Okay, Yana wants to take me up to a tower. I want to film you going up. Apparently it's really tough to get out there and it's really tight. So we're going to run over there and Yana's going to take me in. And it's this tower here, everybody. Yana's already been up there. And it's a steep climb and very tight. I want to tell you again. Yeah? Up there. Right, got it. Yana's going to film me climbing. Wait for me to get up. Yeah, I do. Wait for me to get up. We need to see if we can get down though. Oh yeah, getting there. I bet that's quite tough to get down, isn't it? Yeah, we're getting down too. Huh. Well, that wasn't that hard, really. <laughs> it was quite tight, though. Getting down's really hard. <laughs> yeah, it does look like getting down is. Does look a bit tough. And I want to film you going down today. And you're going to film me going down, are you? Okay, should we go down? Yeah. Right then. You going to hold the camera? Wait, like, no, wait, no. Are I'm... you going to film me? Whoa. Go on, and you go in. Taking me into a little, little dunny cubby hole. Although, <laughs> if anything, and I had to sleep anywhere, I think I wouldn't mind sleeping here. Not tonight. Oh no. Right. That looks so uncomfy. <laughs> I 
I ran up about you. Yeah. Okay, everybody, Anna and I are now going to head in up towards the haunted house. And are you ready? Are you scared? No. I'm scared. I'm You're such a baby. <laughs> Nice feeling at all. Not in your throat. And that, and that plank, that, that plank of wood that's Run resting on your neck is really heavy. During the times of siege, the miners were used by the pharaoh to tunnel under and undermine the walls of the castles, bringing the ramparts crashing down and allowing the attacking armies to storm inside. Be careful, the Further along the main passageway of your left, you will see the alchemist. They produce potions and medicines for the Baron and other castle captains. Alchemy in many English of science, philosophy, and witchcraft, in which more people die from the treatment than if they'd been left alone. A big thank you for joining us, everybody. Stay safe. Stay safe. And we'll see you all soon. Bye. Yeah, bye everybody. And a very big thank you for joining us. Yana and I have had an incredible experience exploring this incredible restored Norman castle. Mount Fitchett Castle. If you get a chance to visit, please do because you will love it. It's incredible. So much to see. Okay, a big, big thank you for joining Yana and I, and we will see you all soon. Bye-bye. Bye for now. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.